If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Cancer, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant, and Cancer Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Cancer, now on to your reading for September 2017. The first card you have in the reading today is the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is a card that symbolizes being in limbo. You're not moving forward, you're not moving backward, you're in suspended animation and you have to draw strongly from your own psychic ability and your own intuition at the time the Hanged Man shows up in your reading. I feel like there is a decision that you're weighing in your mind and part of the reason you're weighing it or confused about it or concerned over it is because you're afraid that there is something you're on the precipice of deciding to do that could make your life more complicated and you you don't want more complications so I feel like this is part of the issue some of you may feel like you're getting bullied into something or talked into something that you don't like and you may feel like you want to put the brakes on it I feel like there's something you want to get more committed about your job or something but it's like you're distracted by something else that's making you, it's screwing up your focus, like it's messing with your mind. So I feel like you want to get committed about something, a project, a plan. Uh, it could be work. It could be uh, something you want to do or fix at home or, you know, a course of study. But whatever it is that you want to be committed to and focus about, there's something that's happening that's distracting you and it's messing up your focus. That's how it comes up. You're doing a lot of reliving of past issues and past memories. That's how it comes up to me. And it doesn't surprise me because we are in Mercury in retrograde until after the 5th of September, which can bring back the past into the present and you could be revisiting the past. The eclipses that happened in August could play into it as well. I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not sure about that, but it could be because of Mercury in retrograde. I just see you uh, revisiting some things and issues and stumbling blocks and worriments or, you know, ha or situations that occurred in the past. You're revisiting them in September, at least in the beginning part. I, I picked you up, you... Uh, revisiting the past in your mind you can't seem to put your finger on it but you want things to, things to change but I feel for some of you you're not exactly sure what you want to see change some of you you may know clearly but I see some of you feeling like oh I want this situation to change but not really sure how you want it to that comes up here you know, you may have to forgive some people, Cancer, and you may feel like you want some things to roll your way, but I also feel it's important that you listen to the other person's story or the other side of the story. Um, and you might have to let them, somebody in your life or somebody you're involved with needs to do some talking. And you may need to take a step back of, like wanting something to roll a particular way the how you want it to go 
and you may have to take a step back and let somebody else do some talking here. I, I don't know how that's going to make sense to you. Hopefully it will. Now here you have the Empress, which is the birth of a project, birth of a plan, birth of an idea, birth of a child. It could also be a maternal figure that's crossed over to the other side that's watching you, guiding you, and protecting you. Also, like a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, a stepmother, somebody like a mother figure to you could also be that. But they would be deceased, usually. I see some of you feeling like you have to start something over from the beginning. Maybe even your life over from the beginning. And bolstering up your self-esteem and your ego uh, is part of it. And to do it. Like, I feel like you're going, oh, I just want to, like, you're looking at a piece of paper, you want to crumple it all up and toss it away, and you want to start over. That's the energy I get here from many of you cancers. But to me, it feels like you want something about your life to start over again. It could be your love life. It could be your work life. It could be your family life, your your home life, or some, some other aspect of your life. There's something you want a rebirth and for it to start over there's something that you want to you need to put away like bury the hatchet or something that's been bothering you that keeps getting revisited in your life whether it's with an ex-love uh, a sibling or a you know I don't know a, a job or an old boss something but it's like you've got to bury the hatchet, but you also have to put the situation away. Like, I feel like you're unearthing it and revisiting. You're digging it up and you're revisiting it over and over again. Uh, or something keeps resurfacing. It's either a person or a circumstance and you're, you're revisiting it over and over again, whether it's mentally or it actually keeps turning up again like a bad penny it needs and and burning the hatchet also like if you're at odds or at cross purposes with somebody and that keeps getting dug up over and over again you've got to like put that away finalize it once and for all not keep revisiting it not keep digging it up not keep arguing about the same old thing or the same old issues if it's in the past leave it in the past and don't dig it up anymore that's what my guides are telling me some of you are having to create some new situation for yourself. This could be in a new job, or maybe you're going to start a sideline hobby or job and turn uh, like a sideline and turn it into a job. Um, that also is coming up here through the Empress card. So the next card you have here in the layout is the Fool. And the Fool is starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations. Uh, but you have to be grounded and not have your head up in the clouds or you could fall off the edge of that cliff and, and or, you know, something could happen if you don't have your wits about you. So try not to be to um, like watch your step, pay attention to where you're going. Some of you are getting ready to settle down, get married that's coming up for some of you. Maybe you've been with somebody a long time and you never got married and now you're going to do it. Or maybe you were single for a really long time and now you're feeling like, you know what, I want to settle down and now I want to get married. That's not going to apply to all of you because remember, Cancer, this is a general reading. And if you find these messages aren't making sense to you for your sun sign, please be sure to look into your rising sign or your moon sign because your messages may be coming to you there this month. I also see you feeling like you're going to be able to carry more of a wor bigger workload or more responsibilities. Maybe you feel like you want to have less, but I see some of you feeling like you're getting driven to carry more responsibilities. Hey, it doesn't have to be at work. Maybe you're going to help out an el elderly relative or parent, or maybe you have a child that needs homeschooling or somebody you want to help and tutor or you know maybe you're going to start volunteering your time in some way and that's carrying more burdens and more responsibilities but I feel like somehow you're opening yourself up and feeling 
like you're ready for more burdens or more responsibilities like you're able to take more on or maybe that's in your job maybe you have a job and you're like you know what uh, I'd like to get a promotion or a raise so I'm ready and, and willing to take on more responsibilities so or maybe you never have it maybe you haven't had any children yet and you're ready to have children in your life and that's more responsibility some in some way I see you in September feeling like you're opening yourself up or are feeling ready for more responsibilities but don't take it to only mean that it's work related because responsibilities could be within care giving care to family or you know maybe you have animals and you're going to adopt more animals into your life and that's more responsibility or you know you're going to tear down your uh, den and you're going to rebuild a new den or redo your kitchen and you are going to be the one doing it you and your significant other that's also more responsibility so I see that happening for some of you cancers how it's going to play out for all of you is going to be different you're not all all you all of you aren't going to have the uh, same new responsibilities coming in but I do see you uh, feeling like you're ready for them some of you may be changing everything you're doing in a different way it could be like if you're at a job you may say I don't want to do it in this protocol anymore I don't like this system I want to revamp it and redo it and I'm going to do it in a whole different way or it could have to do with your own regime of like health diet exercise maybe you're going to look at it and say um, I want to do things over in a whole new way I'm going to adopt new habits I'm going to get up every day and meditate and then I'm going to drink this particular drink and then I'm going to eat this particular food and then I'm going to start doing this that and the other like some of you are changing something that you're doing adopting new patterns of behavior work or habits and the next card you have here cancer is the hierophant and some of you of uh, this is uh, God giving you a blessing or a warning uh, this could also be a cautionary card like it could be giving you blessings it could be cautioning you and giving you a warning it could also indicate higher education and higher learning you could be a student or you could be the teacher some of you may be practicing new religious rituals you may join a new church you may start doing new spiritual practices on your own that's indicated for some of you some of you are going to find out that you have to give some kind of talk lecture or speech uh, or you know you may start working uh, doing some kind of teaching or training program or training others it could be a sideline it could be a hobby it may not even be something you do for money you may become a Sunday school teacher you may start giving some spiritual education to others uh, you may start doing things online that's some kind of teaching on YouTube it could be uh, esoteric uh, it could be like um, uh, astrology or psychic readings or some other spiritual gift or talent that you may possess and you may start doing that on the internet with videos it could also be in settings like you know in uh, a, a hall where people congregate and meet and you could be doing it through like weekly meetings or at a metaphysical store you could start teaching classes there or you could uh, start your own church I mean it comes up like some of you teaching and giving some kind of guidance it doesn't all have to be spiritual but for some of you it is spiritual for some of you some of you may be looking at your life where you feel like that where things have gone astray or gone wrong and you want to do some damage control and repair you might start looking at like geez I don't have a good relationship with uh, you know my son or daughter or you know brother or sister or parents or you know some you may f or spouse even significant other you some of you may feel like there's been some things that have gone wrong in relationships in some manner or that something has gone where you feel like you veered off your path or that got derailed and that you're you want to do damage control or you want to repair it in some way or 
do some kind of uh, activities or say something or write a letter or make some kind of move that helps fix it, repair it, patches it up, changes it, puts it on a different ground or different footing. But to me, it looks like something that you would have viewed that happened in your life that went wrong. That's how it comes up. So you have to think on that about what area that is for you. Now, the last card you have in the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is a earth sign, usually a male, could be a female. This is a general reading. Uh, that would either be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. That could be their sun sign, their rising sign, or their moon sign. You're getting intrigued. You're getting intrigued by developments and information that's coming in. This could be coming from this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles could be the one that you're intrigued with or you are intrigued by the insight, the information that they come and bring in. This could be somebody that's a teacher to you or that's going to be a coworker or a boss to you or somebody that comes in like a mentor for you. It could also be a love partner for you as well. For some of you, this is somebody that's in your life that's going through a rough time. They could be going through an addiction problem uh, to prescription drugs or alcohol or something uh, or uh, some other kind of drugs, or they could be having a difficult time. This could be a brother, a brother-in-law um, also. So when the people cards come up in a general reading, they mean more than one thing. So not what I said the first time with the card, this is the second message with the card. So think on that, how this Knight of Pentacles is making sense for you. You may feel like you're compelled to help them. Uh, they may be in the need of counseling, help, assistance, or change. And you may feel like you want to be the facilitator and the person that comes in and gives them assistance and helps them make some kind of difference or change. Keep in mind, as I said, the first messages about this night are not the same as the second. So for some of you, you're intrigued by them and they're giving you knowledge and inspiration and information or love or they're come intriguing because they're bringing in something interesting in that regard. For some of you, this is somebody that's related to you. Uh, I feel like family, but it could also be a friend that is having a problem that they need to beat something, some addiction or some trouble they're having in their life. And you may want to come and give them a hand, lend them money or give them counsel or help them make changes in their life. So it's not going to be the same for all of you who this Knight of Pentacles is. They may feel like they can't hold their own or something they're working on or doing doesn't hold water and they need assistance from you to help them uh, because I do feel they're kind of looking to you cancer I feel like they're looking to you for aid assistance advice uh, what you, you know what can you do to help them out this could be a nephew it could be um, somebody that's going through difficult times and having hard times and you may not necessarily hear from it directly from them you may actually hear about the difficulties that they're experiencing through other members in your family or in their family or that are connected to them you may not hear it directly from them some of you will some of you won't so for some of you this is somebody new that comes in on the scene that's going to be intriguing and give you insights and information or love that you're going to be intrigued by. For others, this is somebody that's having a problem, an issue, that something they're working on doesn't hold water, or they're having an addiction or a problem that they can't seem to solve or figure out on their own, and you are going to end up helping them in some way. Either they come to you directly, or you hear about it through the grapevine, through family members or friends, and then you come in and you give them some kind of assistance. So keep in mind, this is not all the same person I'm talking about. These can be two separate people and can even be expanded beyond that. I do feel for many of you, you're going to look at them like they have a ring of problems circling around them and that they need some 
relief or assistance with it. So I don't even feel like this night, if it's the second person I'm talking about, it's not even just one problem. There's multiple issues plaguing them at this time. And I do feel they're kind of looking to you or you will be to give them help or assistance or advice or guidance and uh, or, or you just will be doing it one way or the other. So I hope these messages were of help to you, Cancer. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post any of my videos here on YouTube. Also, Cancer, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal and get additional messages from my spirit guides and predictions for you for September 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for September 2017 Psychic Crystal Reading for each sign of the Zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckybermaid.com Click on the Videos tab on my menu, which is a drop-down menu. Go to page 11 and there you will see the headings for September Psychic Crystal Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. You click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, I you might be interested in getting the August 2017 Eclipse Effects Psychic Readings for each sign of the Zodiac where I pulled three cards for each Zodiac sign plus looked into the crystal. The videos are longer than usual. They're 20 minutes long and uh, you might be interested to see what came up about how these eclipses will be affecting you that we had in August which will last up to six months. You can access them on the same page on my videos page on my menu page 11 and you click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Also, please be sure to check at the beginning of every month on September 1st and the first of every month to see what dessert is going to be the special dessert for the sign. This month it will be for Virgo, so please tune in and see what the Psychic Pastry Chef is making for Virgos and get your predictions for each sign in those videos. Check it the first of every month because you want to see uh, what the special dessert is and uh, the recipe and how to make it and get those predictions. You can also check those out. You can check me out on The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC on Facebook. I do post predictions there almost every day that you will be able to see here on Facebook. So I mean on YouTube, so check those out. And you can also check my new website www.thepsychicpastrychef.com. So I have the luckymermaid.com and the psychicpastrychef.com. Please be sure to check those both out. So thank you so much for that and your interest in the work that I'm doing. I totally wish all of you cancers an amazing month of September and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.